It's time to review Anne Plus the film, a movie rooted in an original Dutch web series called Anne Plus, which has developed quite the cult following in the lesbian community. The original series follows a queer woman named Anne as she flashes back to memories of all her ex-girlfriends. The show became so popular that it went from being a YouTube series to having the rights of the series bought by Channel 4 in the UK to now we have Netflix producing a feature-length full movie. So how is the movie? Is it worth a watch? Join me as we review and plus the film. I am going to keep this as spoiler free as possible, but I will be discussing major characters and relationships. We start the movie out with a series of memories between Anne and her girlfriend, Sara. This felt like a nod to the original series. It was also a really fast and efficient way to get the audience invested in this couple as they are going to pretty much immediately be taken off the screen. So kudos to the writers and actors for being able to get me interested pretty much instantaneously in this couple. The plot to the film involves Sara moving to Montreal, Canada, for a new job position and the two of them planning on having Anne move a couple months later after her. Oh, and side note, they've decided to make the relationship polyamorous in the meantime. Yes, you heard right. Long distance, last minute, temporary polyamory. Sounds like a recipe for a lot of peace and tranquility going forward in this relationship. Compared to the original series, the movie just feels more serious. Anne's fun friend group is present and accounted for, but none of them really have their own plot lines. So it's really just Anne and Anne's issues that we're seeing unravel here. Parts of it are almost hard to watch. Like Anne almost immediately shows she's not okay with the whole polyamory thing. Pretty much the second Sara starts flirting with somebody new, and Sara very much seems to realize that Anne's not okay with this, but they both just continue to pretend like things are okay instead of acknowledging that something is wrong. But at the same time, it's also realistic. Like this happens so often in relationships. I have definitely been in situations where I can tell like me and you know my partner, we both knew something wasn't right and we both like didn't want to do the hard thing and talk about it. However, one of the things that adds to the unpleasantness of it for me is that they initially seemed to sort of like hide the fact that they had decided to be polyamorous at the beginning of the movie. Like they don't specifically use the word poly until 30 or 40 minutes in. And I never quite figured out why they hid that. Anne's initial reaction to Sara mentioning a possible new partner was pretty negative. So I spent the first half of the movie being confused and being like, is this just a movie about a girl who knows she's not Polly but has ended up in a polyamorous relationship? And I don't think that's all the movie is about, but it just feels like that's what the movie is about because let's face it, lesbian jealousy carries a whole hell of a lot more weight than problems with your book publisher or, you know, problems finding yourself. I just felt like that conflict carried most of the weight and the tension of the movie. And that's why afterwards it kind of felt like that's what the movie was about. And again, for me, because the audience wasn't privy right away to this information that they're doing this kind of somewhat experimental thing with their relationship they've never done before, and that they're doing it, you know, maybe partly because of the distance and partly because some things are broken in their relationship. We don't get that information till way later in the movie. And I just, always think content is better when it's grounded. Another consequence of not initially knowing what the dynamics were in Sara and Anne's relationship is that I didn't know who I was supposed to be rooting for. At one point in the film, a new love interest enters Anne's life. This person named Lou, who is a non-binary drag king, just full of life and passion and honesty and, you know, cool skateboarding outfits and like, they're a cool skateboarder type. I felt like, I wanna know who am I supposed to be rooting for here? Am I supposed to be rooting for Anne and Lou? This new kind of exciting thing going on? Am I supposed to be rooting for the polyamorous relationship in which one of them is very clearly not poly? Of course, I have to acknowledge I have a huge bias. I am in a monogamous relationship. I am not poly and I have no idea or understanding of what it is like to be poly or to be in a polyamorous relationship. I would love to hear someone's perspective in the comments 
who is polyamorous? Like, what did you think of this film? What do you think of this relationship? Lieve schatten, ik wil even prosten op deze fantastische vrouw. There are definitely some things the movie, like the original series, does well. Probably my favorite part about this whole Anne Plus world is just getting to see shots in and around Amsterdam. It truly is just such a beautiful city. And as someone who lives in a country where everyone drives and like half the men here would replace their with a Ford F-150 if they could, I, like, it's just so nice to see. I love pretty much all the outdoor shots and any shot really with Anne and her friends. Although there was this one weird part in the movie that kind of confused me. Anne, Lou, and all of Anne's friends gather for a drag photo shoot that if it was at all grounded, I would have loved the out of this. But I've realized that outside of when I'm not supposed to know what's happening, like mystery thrillers, I find it really annoying when I'm like, what the hell is going on? And this I found so confusing. Why is Anne and all her friends now suddenly besties with Lou and Lou has them all doing what? What are they doing? Are they rehearsing for a drag show? What are they? What is happening? One thing I loved about the original series that thankfully didn't change in the film is they kept the original actor who plays Anne, Hannah Van Viet. She has this thing that happens sometimes on her face where when her character is getting anxious or nervous in a scene, I, and I assume this is something that maybe happens to the actor in real life too, but you know, you can see her face getting all red. And I found that so endearing. You know, she really makes you feel the things Anne is going through in the scenes. Like you, you almost, you're almost like tricked into feeling like you're experiencing these things, not just Anne. So is this movie worth a watch or not? I would actually pass on the movie and watch the original series instead, if you haven't already seen it. The original series is just so much stronger to me. If you've already watched the original series and loved it, definitely give the film a chance. Me, I think the writers and producers were better at producing episodes as opposed to producing a long drawn out movie you know four act movie i wonder if this movie tried to do too much i can't imagine people in polyamorous relationships are going to be super thrilled to watch this but please correct me if i'm wrong but if i'm poly i'm kind of thinking like oh, this wasn't the most positive light to portray polyamory in but also how often do we even see polyamorous relationships on screen? Maybe viewers out there who are poly are just happy to see a little representation. Now I realize somebody watching this review might literally think there's nothing else going on in this film besides discussions of polyamory, and that's definitely not the case. There's a whole other plot revolving around whether Anne will be able to finish her first book on time, there's a little side plot with Anne and her father, and really the movie is about Anne discovering herself and figuring out what she wants and how to say it. I just don't think they achieved what they were trying to achieve. Like I could see where they wanted this to go. It, it feels like they wanted to be an artsy, you know, not perfectly tied up at the end with a bow type movie, like, you know, and just, it's like poetic and like life, man. And you know, like sometimes it's not, you know, everybody doesn't have all the answers and it's like life is messy, man. And like, duh, duh, duh. I just don't quite think, I, I think it was a swing and a miss. But let me know your thoughts if you've watched or if you've watched the original series. Okay, that's pretty much it for my take on Anne Plus the film. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Amanda, this is my really gay YouTube channel, and I'll see you next video.